Can you say as one of these? Because they never take action. And this is where I want to acknowledge all of you. Because not only do you guys desire to be an entrepreneur, you actually do something about it. And let me tell you, this is the thing that's going to make a hell of a difference to you. You've got to get up there and take action. That's the only way. Follow that? Alright? And I'd like to leave you with the final quote. Most people are fast to stop you before you get started, but hesitant to get in the way if you're moving. Have you ever tried stopping a moving vehicle? When you see a moving vehicle, what do you do? You run away. But when you see a, moving, a vehicle moving like a tortoise, what do you do? You know, it makes it your jaywalk, right? You cross the road because you think that you have no harm. So I want you to imagine that you are a car. The next time when you set your mind on doing something, all right, I want you to go for it. Because when you start taking action, when you put in the desire, I guarantee you no one will ever let it stop you. But if you just tell your friend, I want to do something, I want to do something, your friends will tell you a hundred one reasons why you should not do it. So seriously, the best thing to do is just get it done. All right? Now, I'm going to end off with the final exercise to drive home the point. And I require you to do a bit of physical exercise. This is something that I've done over the five years of entrepreneurship. And let me tell you that this is the one thing that really helped a lot, a lot of entrepreneurs in Singapore and Asia to become successful. So I want all of you to do this, okay? I want first of all to shake your master hand. So if let's say you're right-handed, you know, you shake your right hand. If you're left-handed, you shake your left hand. If you are both, shake both hands, all right? Now, I want you to raise your master hand like this. Very good. Now, it's very important now you do some visualization with me. I want you to imagine that your hand is like a fantastic ball and stretch all the way to the ceiling. So I want you to imagine it stretch, stretch further. Now, it's very important that you feel the muscle strain over here, right? Okay, now, of course, if you never shower for a few days, your friend will probably faint inside you. <laughs> but other than that, you should be fine. So stretch your hand all the way up, further, higher. Okay, let's do three times. Stay ready, higher one time. Higher two times, higher three times, now stay that way. Let me tell you this, the next time an opportunity comes knocking on your door, you do this. <laughs> and I guarantee you, you will succeed. All right, back to the MC.
Surely, you do not want to consume a sandwich that comes out from the same vending machine that dispenses, say, um, detergent powder or shampoo? Like, can you imagine the conditional sandwich? Moving on to the features of the machine. The vending machine will include a 30-inch LCD screen that will advertise the sample product. Yes, 30-inch. Wouldn't you be attracted by advertisements? Potential customers can then use the touch screen to select the sample they want. So, you might be thinking, since the samples are free, wouldn't greedy Singaporeans keep going to the machines to obtain these free samples instead of buying the products? To remedy this, we've put in place an Interlink card system. Before a customer takes a sample from the machine, they will have to tap their Interlink card. The serial code of their card will then be recorded down in the machine. This way, they will not be able to exploit the whole concept by getting the same samples again and again, which may otherwise cause the respective companies providing the samples to incur losses. Additionally, there is an added benefit to the usage of using Interlink card for our service. Because the details will be recorded, companies can then obtain information on their consumer support, allowing them to identify the market and target audience. I'm pleased to talk to you about how our idea is unique and both innovative, and why we will invest in it. Producers no longer have to hire people to give out their samples. Instead, they can go to us to distribute their products. Think about it. Customers only have to go to one vending machine to try out all the samples the company has to offer. Our machines are first of its kind, and there are no competitors in the market with any design similar to ours. Therefore, we will have the advantage of entering a new market. We will also have an e-swing system where people will receive their samples. Through the system, we could prevent people from repeated samples at the same time. Our company, therefore, will be able to distribute sample products through a centralized system. The conventional way of distributing our samples to the public will be to hire employees to distribute them. However, our machine should be different as it is completely automated. Thus, there will not be any loss in hiring people to distribute our samples. Therefore, I believe our product is both innovative and unique. This is our marketing strategy. We have two target audiences, our producers, the first tier target audience, and our consumer, the second tier target audience. Our producers consist of fresh startups with innovative inventors looking for a platform to carry out market testing. They will pay us to host samples of their products in our fridge machines at a low risk cost of just five dollars per unit per month. These machines will be positioned at areas with heavy human traffic like busing, MRT stations and shopping malls. Examples would be the central business district and Orchard Road. These are also places that our second tier target audiences comprising our teenagers and working adults with one husband. Did you know that in Clarkie alone, there's an average of 40,000 people passing through the area on weekends? Imagine the wide array of advertising and marketing possibilities. Thus, we will offer effective advertisement of our producers' products when they buy an advertisement spot from us. At only $500, producers will be able to reach thousands daily with their advertisements, which will be screened 24 hours daily for one month. Besides this, we are also offering additional advertisement services where we will craft the advertisements for our producers for an extra cost. To provide our first tier target audience with better market research, we will set up an interactive website showing the products currently available at our machines, the location of these machines, and feedback and suggestion opportunities. Consumers can then submit their feedback and read the samples they try. This website will also be a form of publicity to generate more interest among the public. This ties in with our second tier target audience, who prefer the internet as a form of communication. This means it is a feasible form of data collection and the data collected from these reviews and customer demographics which we will receive from the Interim Card Records will be consolidated into a detailed report and analysis. This will be made available to our producers for free. The address of this website will be displayed on both the machines and the packages of the samples. We know that this idea is feasible as customers are inexorably drawn to freebies and thus to be attracted to this concept. On the aspect of finance, we expect a profit um, by six months. The start of course will include 50k for the technology and maintenance of the vending machines, but uh, five vending machines that will cost 20k each, and rental space for the five machines that will cost 2.5k a month. 
Hence, our initial cost, our startup cost is 152k. In the worst 